What's up? What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Poon, and I am here with another video to talk all about narcissist women and men. But this is just my take of how I believe narcissists are. I believe men are narcissists when they are vain and they think it is all about them and they try to manipulate you by trying to make it seem like everything is your fault and that they didn't do anything wrong. And women can do the same thing. So that's why it's truly important to apologize and own up to your mistakes. Because if you don't, and you just go about life just acting as though you are just this angel heaven on earth that doesn't do any wrong, that's when you become a narcissist. A narcissist man will make you feel bad and try to manipulate you in every possible way to control you. And a lot of us men have this trait within us, but where, where some men go wrong is when it's obsessive to the point where you're trying to control your partner's every move, don't trust your partner at all, and just trying to control every situation and then get angry when things don't go your way and lash out and then point the finger and say, you made me do this. That is a narcissist man that will come into your house, break up everything, put a knife to your throat, and then say, you made me do this because you did X, Y, and Z. Now, it doesn't have to be that dramatic, but that is a narcissist man. I believe women become narcissists when they try to control the situation and critique the situation by every little thing that the other individual does. I believe women can become real nasty when they start critiquing so much to the point where it becomes nagging constantly and it becomes a more negative effect because instead of building someone up, they're constantly tearing down. And I believe women can be very shallow when they are in their narcissist type of mood. So one thing I will say with both of those, how to avoid getting into a narcissist relationship is to really just own up to your feelings and realize what you are going to put up with. Because if you're constantly putting up with someone that's going to tear you down, manipulate you and critique you 24 seven, then you have to realize internally what that person is doing to you and internally realize what you're doing to yourself by allowing that energy into your life. A narcissist woman would try to critique the situation to manipulate it to make her life better. Um, for example, she would uh, talk a man out of going after his dreams um, so he could be more stable in a regular nine to five and critique him for going after his dreams and try to just manipulate the situation to make him feel bad just so the woman can stay comfortable and not, when she doesn't have faith in you, is it's a done deal. And it's just one of those things that um, she would try to critique you to the point where it makes you critique every little thing and make you feel like you're not worthy of some of the things that you want in life. A narcissist woman cannot be satisfied. She will never be satisfied. And I see a lot of men do it all the time that they'll be like, oh, I'm going to overwork myself and become rich to make her feel secure. But to be honest, money will not make anybody feel secure in a relationship. You could go buy the world if you wanted to for another person. But money comes and goes. And so many people put so much emphasis on money and it may make some people feel good having money and you taking care of them, but it won't make anybody feel secure in a relationship. It would just make them more comfortable.
but not secure.